Welcome to Louisiana Gardening Family. Today's episode, we're going to talk the pros and cons between growing your blueberry bushes in ground versus container. So as I got a phone call just a second ago, one of the reasons that I hadn't even thought about, it appeared to me. It's windy out here. <laughs> so the first reason, I can't tell you how many times I come outside and I'm picking up my blueberry bushes. Well, I don't keep them right here, but I keep them closer to the house. But once that soil gets dry, the plant gets real, real light and anything in any little wind will knock it over uh, another thing is let's look at now this may be a different variety but look how full and juicy these are and let's look at these that are in the pot and you'll see that they are a little bit little bit smaller uh, and that I believe that's because of for getting to water. One of the cons of growing your blueberry bushes in pots is that when you forget to water, you pay. As opposed to here in ground, you almost never have to water these. I mean, they're, they're good with the water that's in the ground and they're going looking for water. So besides me putting down the banana uh, leaf mulch during the winter time, I rarely ever water them. I mean, they may catch some of the water from the raised bed, but for the most part, I never water. But look, look at the amount of blueberries that's on this one bush. Pretty amazing. Okay, now a kind of growing in the ground is look at all of this grass, as opposed to if you look over here in the container you can easily control your grass uh, it's not hard I just when you have other things to do you don't think about it uh, so even though I had the mulch here which makes it a little bit easier to get the grass away from around it and it's breaking down and I can easily as the as the banana trees start to grow some more I'm thinking that that was a good idea of mulching with those banana leaves and you can still see some of them in here Excuse my my camera uh, Holding uh, if you're not seeing all of what I'm doing because I'm trying to focus on Doing one thing with one hand and I'm forgetting about the camera with the other hand so you'll have to do better sir uh, but basically Pretty much the banana mulches. So the weeding isn't hard, but the banana mulch has actually done a good job. It's just more work. So that's one of the cons of growing in ground. And you can see right behind me, uh, same thing. Okay, now a pro to growing in your container is that even though it's a con that if you forget to water, you pay, in a rainy rainy climate it may be best to be in this container because i had a blueberry in the ground these are good because these are on high ground but i had one right here before i put this banana tree here and this part of my yard kind of slopes down toward that even coming from the house so by having it in the ground in the wrong place uh, and that was on it was just rain so hard for like a week looked like and The tree couldn't take it anymore, and it was it was so beautiful, but then you saw it just started like Like drowning out and I tried to move it and I'm actually moved it to another location But it may make it it may not but by being in containers It doesn't matter how much it rains. It can rain for two weeks This pot is only going to take so much water and then it's going to drain out the bottom and and sometimes you think because it's rained for two three days straight that the next day you may not have to water you might have to water this thing even after two three days of rain 
So that may be a pro, it may be a con. Uh, like me, I use hose pipe watering. Uh, for those people that have timer set up, it may be a little bit uh, easier to do. Uh, what's some of the other pros and cons to growing in pots versus containers? Let me think about it and let me change my vantage point. Ah. Grow berries grow. Smooth it time. Smooth it time. <laughs> Blowing in the wind. So here we are. Another aspect of what I've seen. And what would you say I would say was the reason that you would grow in ground rather than in a pot? Aha! size <laughs> right everybody knows that in a container you only the, the tree only has the available nutrients that you give it as opposed to in ground the, the tree or the bush or the shrub it can go in and actually seek out its own nutrients and the things that it likes like you may be given this uh, blueberry shrub that's in this container some of the things that it doesn't really want as opposed to in the ground, it's going to look for what it wants. It knows what it wants, what it wants. It's grown up. It's like a it's like an adult, right? It's not a little baby uh, blueberry bush anymore. So it's going seeking the things that it wants, that it that it needs, uh, that these little bunches desire. Oh, and it's just so many of y'all. I hope that, I hope they don't get y'all. I'm going to throw a net over these. Oh, I just thought of something. What's another pro of having yours in a container? You can actually take these inside uh, right when the berries are starting to get ripe. You can say, hey, y'all not taking my blueberries. I'm going to put this in a sunny window. So you have a real sunny uh, window in your house. You can actually take your blueberry container, go inside. Guess who, not, who doesn't get them? The birds. They're not going inside to take them unless you got a hole in your roof. Uh, that's one of the uh, best things that I see that you can actually, uh, if you plant this in the ground and it's not in a good location, then you have to dig it back up and find another location. Being in a container, you can say, man, this tree doesn't like this spot. It's not enough sun here. You can just move it maybe 50 feet 20 feet whatever you can just pick it up look look how light this is you can it's a huge bush but look how light that is anybody can move that so you can move that to another spot or if it's too hot like in louisiana we start to get 90 100 degrees these here will have to fend for themselves so i have to do some water and things like that but these in 90 degrees, if I see them wilting under the weight of or under the pressure of the sun, I can just take these and put them under my carport during the hottest times of the day so they can get some morning sun and then I can just move it under the carport. So it's a lot of different things that you can do. No right or wrong. You know, some people will say, man, keep them in a container. Just put it in a bigger container, which this one may be suffering from a small container. And it's probably time looking at the height. I'm sure it's time to put it in a bigger pot. But that's what I bought it. Uh, actually bought these. They're regular $16.99. We bought all of these for $9.99 at a, at a Clegg's in Baton Rouge. So but i mean the proof is in the pudding i think the most healthiest uh, unless you're really fertilizing and we don't really fertilize too much but the most healthiest look at that that's beautiful oh that's beautiful please mr bird don't eat my blueberries please give me some yeah but i'm i gotta go buy some netting i don't have any netting and we got about uh one two three maybe four or five uh, trees actually uh, in the ground so and we have plenty plenty more oh my goodness somebody said that on my uh, channel 
OMG, not oh my gosh, you gotta say oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Please stay with us. I wanna taste y'all, I wanna taste y'all. Okay, I'm done. Uh, if I think of some more stuff, I'll put it in the comments below. Uh, if you think of some more stuff, you put it in the comments below. But I'm talking about pros and cons. Do what you like, do what you will. Both are really good. Uh, either or, it's all about preference. So uh, the most important thing is get you some blueberry bushes. That's the most important thing. So thank you for watching Louisiana Gardening Family. God bless you and we'll be seeing you. Where's the sun? <laughs>